Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2009 it's a GMC, it's a school bus mobility vehicle. So it's got a wheelchair lift in the back. I'm gonna show you how to operate that. You gotta do a couple things to get it to come on. So I enter the driver's side over here. Make sure your emergency brake is set. Step one, make sure the ignition is on. No, the vehicle does not have to be on. The ignition has to be on, okay? And we have our conversion on. You hear the beat back there? That's the conversion coming on. So we gotta do those three things. And then we gotta come around to the back of the vehicle here. Swing the door open. <clears throat> Excuse me. Swing it open here. What I like has this little chain here. A lot easier to do with two hands here. I'm gonna see if I can snag this little hook over. All right, just like so. Keep this door from swinging closed on you. And then we have to have the power has to be on. So we can hit deploy. The lift will come down. This is a Rikon lift. This is two stages. Once it gets to this stage and stops, we then hit the down. So left brings it down on the, on the remote, right brings it up. It's got a 50 inch deep ramp, 34 inches wide, 800 pound weight capacity. And then coming inside the van, 56 and a half inches of headroom, and then 73 and a half inches of headroom inside. Tons of headroom inside. This van has like been in a time capsule. It's darn near brand new. Got your seatbelt here. Got all your lighting for ADA compliance. It's even got the rear. That's beeping because the rear's open. The emergency exit's open, okay? And let me crawl in the van here. So it's old school. Got the. Uh, to operate the door, lift up, slide it open, and come in that way. And it's beeping at us because the ignition's on right now. So, quick walk through the van. It's got these uh, seats. It actually has three seat belts in these. So, if you can cram three people in there, it's got four seats. It's 12 people you could fit in here. Um, but if you want to do two per seat, eight, two per seat, eight back here, one up front. Tons of room for wheelchairs back here. Um, my measurements, let me pull those out real quick. So, from the uh, wheelchair lift right here where my left side of my foot is, over to this wall. 75 inches of room okay you could easily stack two wheelchairs next to each other here you have 128 inches of room from the back of that seat to this wall okay so you could get two back here even two or three in there my point is standard size wheelchairs three no problem four pretty easy you might even be able to get five in here so this will hold a ton of wheelchairs we can always add more tie down spots if we need to it's got the two rows here but you can haul a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of wheelchairs in this van. Super clean. Got all your rear air. We've tested it. Everything works good back here. <clears throat> it does come with one set of the Q-string for the back. It'll pull, pull those tight. They're easy to do. Standard tie-downs up front. Got your lap belt there. But man, these seats, like I said, this van. Got your emergency exits on the window. And you know, everything got speakers up top. <clears throat> nice, clean van. What someone might end up doing is buying this and turning it into an RV. You can even keep the wheelchair lift in it if you have someone in your family that needs a wheelchair make all the sleeping and beds up here or work with the lift out and just make it a, a low mileage rv dash is in great shape got all your controls for your rear air here your fan you got a little fan there you can turn on with ac works great in this they've got an aftermarket radio in there got your tow package so you know if you want to turn this into an rv and you want to tow a boat or a trailer this has got the 60 uh, gas engine in it Shut that guy up there. There we go. And I'll, oh, I gotta get the lift back up. So I better leave that on. Let's get the lift put back up. So yeah, tons of room in this thing. Super versatile. It does not have the hitch on it to tow, but you know, you can put one on there pretty easy and it's got the tow package on it. So if you wanna turn this into an RV and pull a boat behind it for a portion of what it would cost to buy an RV, then this might be your solution. So the right side, Hit the up button. Lift works great. It too also looks darn near brand new. Here's your lighting for the ADA compliance. And then hit the stow button. It's coming up here. All right, now I'm gonna hit off to save our battery there. And I'm gonna take this off here. Get the door slam and we are ready to roll. Here and there we 
we go. Uh, the van's got Michelin tires on it. Look at the tread on these things. This thing came to me with darn near brand new condition Michelin tires on it. All, all six of them got the dual dual rear wheels. That's sixteen hundred dollars in tires right there, folks. Maybe even two thousand. Um, very clean. And we can, if you want to paint us to paint this for you, I have a guy that can paint it. Probably be around four thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But you know, if you want it nice and white or the color of your choice, let me know. But super clean uh, little bus. It's hard to find a dent or a scratch in this paint. Like I said, this thing's been kept in a time capsule. It was used, uh, have the old stop sign there. Has a little hole there, but that's it. Um, used for a school route that was, that was very seldom used and uh, very short to kind of use it for a backup bus was my understanding. If one of the bigger buses went bad, they had this as a backup bus was my understanding and it didn't didn't get driven very, got driven regularly, just not not a whole lot, not real often. So the one thing we always did, we show you the VIN number. No matter if you're gonna buy sight unseen, uh, make sure you get the VIN number, keep you from getting scammed, okay? We always show you, get a video of that VIN number. That means the vehicle's here in my possession. This is not some internet scam, okay? Okay, what we do with that VIN number, do a Carfax report on every one of our vehicles. You see no accidents or damage to this one. Now, Carfax has one line scrolling down here. You can see my arrow. If it has two owners, it have two boxes, three boxes for three owners, so on and so forth. I don't know why it doesn't state this is a one owner. Carfax doesn't do that sometimes. But yeah, it's just got the one line, meaning one owner. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a clean title, no accidents, one owner. Carfax shows no structural damage. Airbags have never been deployed. Odometer's accurate. No accidents or damage. It does have one open recall, which you can take to any um, Chevy's GM dealer. They'll fix that at no charge to you. And no matter who you do business with, look them up online, check out their reviews, check out their ratings. Look at us on eBay, 1,349 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. And no matter who you do business with, look them on, up online, check out their reviews, check out their ratings. Find us on Google, see we're here in Wichita, Kansas. Look at our 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. You know, I hear people oftentimes complaining about certain mobility dealers overselling them, selling a van for over $10,000 too much. Uh, one with frame damage, one with rust issues, title problems, you hear it. I name, You name it, I hear it all. Or they end up buying from somebody on Craigslist or uh, Facebook, a private individual that they know nothing about. They end up getting scammed or buying a, a you know, huge lemon. Um, if you end up buying from one of those dealers that's got you know one, two, three star reviews online, kind of like, what did you think was going to happen? Everybody has problems with them, so are you. So if you want to avoid all that mess, if you want five-star vans with five-star service from a company that's been doing this for over a decade, give me a call. Okay, back to the interior of the van. It does come with three keys. It's got this nice little step here. It's got these vinyl seats. They are easy to clean. And I know you've already seen in here, seen back here. Uh, when I go to turn the van on... All right, sorry about that. I also had to take a phone call. So anyways, when I turn the van on, see it fires right up. All the dummy lights work, they all go out. There's no check engine lights on, no airbag. 14,547 miles on this thing. We got our air here, air conditioner works great. Got our rear air controls over here, our little fan, so on and so forth. I've already showed you all that. It's got the manual roll down window here, so one less thing to go wrong, manual locks. Underneath the hood, it's got the 6.0 V8 engine. Idle smooth, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. Purrs like a kitten. Got an on button here. This When you're not using this, you can turn that to the off position. It'll save power um, on the battery and everything. So, has a crawl underneath. Much of the same. Very clean. No signs of any bent metal from an accident. No signs of any oil leaks or anything like that. No signs of any rust from being in a flood or being up north. Does show some small signs of surface rust. I mean, that's nothing. I'm talking about a 14 year old vehicle. Very clean. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy a used vehicle. They assume things. They assume just because it's got 14,000 miles on it, or they assume because it looks great in pictures, uh, they assume it's got a clean title. They assume it hasn't been in a bad accident. Um, they, they assume the frame straight. I uh, do not assume things. Get online. Uh, go check out my competition. That's right. I'm sending you to the competition. Do they show you their reputation online so you know you're buying from a reputable dealer? Do they show you a Carfax report so you know you're buying a vehicle with a clean title? One that hadn't been in a bad accident, hadn't been in a flood or anything like that. 
Do they get in on their hands and knees like I am right now and, and take pictures, much less a detailed video? So you know you're buying a vehicle that's got a good solid frame on it, that's not all rusted out, doesn't have frame damage. So, yeah, so please compare me to the competition. Go check them out. You'll find there is a big difference. It's not just about price and miles, it's about the quality of vehicle you're selling. So what happens if you end up buying a vehicle that has frame issues? You know, it, whether it's from rust or being in an accident. It may not pass inspection in your state. If it won't pass inspection in your state, guess what? You can't drive it, you just bought a paperweight. So do four things. Demand a detailed video like this. Demand a Carfax report so you can see the vehicle's history. Not some cheap knockoff. Demand that Carfax report. Uh, get online, find out who you're buying from. Check out the reviews, check out the ratings. Make sure you're buying from a reputable dealer. Finally, demand a warranty. Don't risk buying as is from somebody across the country that you've never met before. Or even if you're meeting them in person, shaking their hand. Demand some sort of warranty. Our van comes with a 90-day, 3,000-mile drivetrain plus warranty. Good at any shop in the country. We stand behind our product. That's why we offer a warranty. Do not risk buying as is. Demand that warranty. Let's get it out for a test drive. Final portion of the video. I always like to get the vehicles out on the highway. Give it some gas so you can hear the engine run. Feel the transmission shift through all the gears. And you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this little bus home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. Steering wheel is nice and straight. No unusual vibration or noise. Let's see if I can get up to about 70 miles an hour here if traffic will permit. But the van, the bus accelerates good. Transmission shifts smoothly. For a big old vehicle like this, it does run and drive real nice down the highway. Got up to a little over 65 miles an hour. Also, keep in mind, we do offer a 90-day uh, no warranty at no charge to you. And we do have long-term warranties that cover not only the van, but also the conversion. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long-term. Also, keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. The price you see for us it's the price to get the vehicle to your door, no hidden fees. You pay your home your sales tax and everything in your home state. A lot of these dealers, they'll show a real nice price online. What they have hidden in the fine print, $500 administrative fee, they got document fees, they got tag fees. And oh yeah, they don't have free shipping like we do. So next thing you know, you add up all those fees, that real nice price you saw online jumps three or $4,000. Not such a nice price anymore. So. Be sure to ask about those hidden fees before you buy. Be sure to ask about the uh, shipping or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional cost to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they got a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to try and make more money out of you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it mechanical issues? Is it flood damage? You know, I don't know. I just know transparency is key. And when people aren't being transparent from the get-go, there's a really good chance there's other things they're hiding. So be aware of that uh, when you're out shopping. And if you'd like to give us a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. A nice hard brake, no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So once again, exactly what we're looking for. And if texting, if texting is easier for you or you feel more comfortable texting, here's my cell phone, 316-518. 4377. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. You've now got my cell phone number. Now I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system or uh, get a used car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you don't want to be treated like just a number and if you don't want to run into that super pushy used car salesman, reach out to me. I'm happy to help because I promise you I'm gonna sell this little mini bus whether you buy it or not. There's absolutely zero pressure sales here. Um, this flashing through here, just picking how the camera is picking it up. It's not doing that in real life. You see, sometimes it does it really fast, so it's, it's clear as a whistle, clear as clear as water on there. So, guys, it's only picking that up through the camera. Um, a vehicle this age, unfortunately, we do not have any type of financing for it. You can do credit card, cash. Home equity loan, personal loan, you know, anything we can do to help, let us know. But unfortunately, I would not have any financing for this age van. Um, we do take trade-ins, even from across the country, whether standard or mobility vehicle. Call me, I can explain how that works. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free Carfax reports on every single vehicle and dozens of pictures, so you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough mobility dealership in the country, Check out our website 24 hours a day at www.mobility316.com.
mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.